Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel, Nico Goddess 1111. I'm here to bring you your channeled messages for April 2018. This will not resonate with everybody, so just take what fits, leave what don't, and um, enjoy as this is for entertainment purposes only. So while um, meditating on your sign, Pisces, I kept seeing the number zero and the number six. So when I see zero in meditation, when I'm trying to meditate on a sign, um, it is telling me that you are receiving divine guidance and um, they are trying to reassure you along your path. So <coughs> stay focused because number six, um, when I see six in meditation, it is keeping your thoughts positive. Um, focus on your desires and suppress your fears because what you think you are manifesting. So, um, sorry, my hair is driving me nuts. <laughs> it's like trying to stand on end. So with that, um, Sierra is saying to remain positive, to um, not let your fears get in your headspace because you're going to manip manipulate. You're going to manifest that. Speaking of manipulate, for a group of you, you have somebody in your space that is trying to head fuck the shit out of you. They are manipulating you. Um, they are using children um, to manipulate you. They, for another group of you, you are dating somebody or trying to get um, in a relationship with somebody and they're dealing with a baby mama. And they are trying to manipulate uh, the person that you are trying to get together with. Just a lot of head games going on right now. Um, for a group of you, you are dating um, or seeing a cancer male. Or this is an ex of yours. They are bringing a lot of drama into your life. A lot of drama into your space. Um a lot of drama from past relationships that they're bringing towards you. For a group of you, I see um, you losing a home because of it, um, or you're having to move because of this drama. Yeah, it's just chaos. Um, you could be pregnant, and I you could, for a group of you, you are pregnant with this cancer gentleman, and that's why you're putting up with a lot of the BS that's going on, a lot of the drama, because you are carrying his child. For another group of you, you just don't want to lose him, so you're putting up with the with the drama that he is bringing. Um, yeah, just be really careful that you don't get drug into that petty. Um, especially if you're the one pregnant, just because you don't need that extra stress around you, um, just be really cautious of them trying to drag you down to that lower vibration. This, this person that's causing a lot of problems. Um, I'm seeing cancer male. Um, possible Virgo female for the person that he's dealing with. Um, for another group of you, you are dealing with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but mostly Sun sign. I'm seeing, for a group of you, you guys are in separation, but you are still, uh, communication is still there. It's just not as um, strong as it used to be. They are telling you that they need time, they need space, they need, they need, um, they need time to figure something out or to get things in line. I see them telling you this excuse, like, just a little bit more time, I just got to get things together. Um, just a little bit more time and I'm leaving them. Um. I swear, I promise I'm getting divorced, but it's just not the right time. They are feeding you full of it. They have, uh, they have other things going on. 
So be cautious of this as well. Check into what they're telling you. Because you don't want that hurt. You don't want that that brought in to your space either. Um, with this relationship too, I see things just coming to an abrupt halt. You're going to figure it out. You're going to catch them in something where their stories don't match up or you're catching them in something. And this is going to end this relationship with Aquarius. It's just going to stop dead in its tracks. As a whole, as a group of you, Pisces, it's time to stand your ground. It's time to um, kind of take back your power because I see for um, a lot of you, you feel like you've been walked on. You feel like you've been taken advantage of. You've been used. You're feeling hurt. And for the longest time, you felt optimistic about this connection. Um, it took you a long time to let somebody in. And now that you let them in, you're scared to let them go. That you're willing to put up with a little bit more than what you should. But that is ending. You are standing your ground. Um, I do see new love coming in, or new people coming in. Uh, I'm careful when I say love because I see this could be um, based more around let, lust. There's a strong sexual attraction, um, very passionate, very heated, very good sex. Like it's really in, in an intense relationship, but there's no love there. It's all sexual attraction. So be careful not to invest your heart in a person. If they are telling you they don't want anything serious, if they are telling you they're not looking for a long-term relationship, believe them because these people are telling you that. But I can see some of you falling for them anyways. For a group of you, you um, are dealing with addictions. Stay strong. Uh, take your power back. For a group of you, there's people coming in and there's lies and temptation and addiction, manipulation. It's time to let all those, all that go. Time to let it go. Make a conscious effort, make a conscious change to let go of those in your past that were not good for you. You're feeling very impulsive this month, Pisces. You're feeling like you're jumping before you look. You are going in headstrong. You're throwing yourself in 100% before you know the whole deal. <laughs> and Spirit is saying to be cautious of that. Take a step back. Take it slow. There's nothing wrong with having fun, but know where you stand before you walk into this. For another group of you, I do see true love coming in. I see life partners coming in. I see very successful long-term relationships. Um, for a group of you, you're dealing with water signs, um, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio. And I do see very, very happy long-term relationships. For another group of you, um, you're dealing with a Virgo in your life. Divorces are finalizing with that. It's been a long road. It's been a long battle of back and forth. But I see contractual agreements with a Virgo coming to an end, finally. For a group of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Sagittarius, or Taurus. Um... Those relationships are also coming to an end, but they are refusing to let you go. They are clinging on to you. Um, it's like they're addicted to you. They need you. They want you. They want you now. They don't want anyone else to have you. Uh, make sure you're clearing your energy. Clear your Cut your karmic cords. Do 
a ritual to sever those ties. There are people coming back into your life that you really do have a lot of feelings for. You admire them. You loved them so passionately, so deeply the first time around, and they did break your heart once. This is a relationship that has been in the past. For a group of you, it could be anywhere from five to eight months ago they took off. For another group of you, it is two to three years ago. Could be older, but I am not seeing that as uh, as uh, definitively as the five to eight months and the two to three year. These are um, divine relation, divine partnerships. They are returning. They have healed and done beautiful work on themselves. They are not the same person that left you. They are coming back wanting a second chance. Listen to what they have to say because they have worked really hard on finding the words to tell you, to describe to you what you mean to them. And for whoever hears, whoever gets the message that I'm hearing right now, I am like gushing. It is so beautiful. Um, make sure you hear them out and listen and uh, allow them to tell you that message because it is, it's so romantic. And the best part about it is, is that they mean it. They really feel this way about you. They have a lot of guilt about walking out on you and not giving you any answers in the past. For another group of you, you have um, a Virgo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo coming back to you. They also have been working on themselves. Um, they may not stay as long though. This is a long-term relationship, but this is not your life partner. So I'm talking two, three year long relationship, but it's going to be successful. It's going to be happy. It's going to serve your greatest um, needs, desires, wants for the length of the relationship. And when you guys part, you will part on good terms. You will both come to the same agreement. And so it's nothing to be fearful of. The divine is sending you these partners at this time to show you just what it's like, what it feels like, what you deserve to be loved, to have a commitment without fear of deception, to be able to enjoy life and have fun and just really have a partner in crime that is going to be there for you, going to be there for your greater good and you them. It's going to be balanced and beautiful and it's going to be a very strong bonded soulmate connection. Though, however, you will grow apart, you will separate in a two to three year time frame but you guys will remain friends for life. <clears throat> Beware of false starts for some of you. <clears throat> My throat chakra just closed completely. Um, <clears throat> My, um, now I forgot what I was even saying. Oh yeah. Beware of false starts. Um, there is a group of you that are going to be coming into contact with um, somebody coming in that is going to try and make you believe that they want a commitment. They want the Cinderella story. What they want is intimacy, sex, that's it. They think their way to get you is to woo you and tell you what you want to hear. And because they are very sexually attracted to you, but I don't know how to put this nicely. Like there's something wrong with the way they think. Like 
they think it's okay to come in and tell you that you are the world and then the next day, the next morning be gone before you wake up and never call you again. Like they're just, they're dealing with their own issues. So just be cautious. Um, if you go in thinking, you know, that's all it's going to be, it'll be fine. You know, um, but somebody is telling you lies and being dishonest with you and your inner guide is telling you something is not right. You have red flags popping. But another part of you has this impulsive sexual attraction to them as well. So you are going to be torn, Pisces. You um, really are going to be up in the air. Just do what's best for you and, um, and be cautious. For a group of you, you are starting new work, starting new jobs, starting new businesses. Um, success and financial abundance is finding your house, your um, work and money uh, house this week or this month. I'm sorry. Um, you guys, finances coming in. Uh, for those of you who have struggled since um, around January, the beginning of February, uh, your finances took a hit due to an unexpected uh situation that you needed to hit your savings, you are going to get a gift, um, a surprise gift. I don't know how many people this is truly for, but I know it's for at least one. You are going to get a um, check in the mail from a company you've never heard of. Um, and it's through the angel network. What that is, is it's a company that allows donations to be took in from um, people who would like to donate but not have their name uh, identified to the receive, the recipient. So say I would pay $20 to the angel network, the angel network would turn around, write a check and send that $20 to the person that I want it sent to. That way they can receive the donation anonymously. So they're the go-between. You are receiving a $500,000 check from the Angel Network for hospital bills. Don't worry. It is coming in the form of this. I'm seeing the third week of April, actually. And I know that isn't even a drop in the bucket for this person that I am reading the energy of. Um, it's not even a drop in the bucket but it's all going to work out. Have faith. Um, the divine takes care of those who keep the faith when the ground beneath us is shaking. So just keep the faith, keep praying. It's all going to work out. Um, I don't see you losing your home. So for whoever's energy that was, I hope you're watching this because that was, you came in very strong. Um, for a group of you, you have a you have a business that just um, unfortunately closed their doors. In the next six months, you are gonna revamp your business plan, reconstruct um, your uh, business model. You're gonna reopen, and you are going to be much more successful this time. Spirit is saying, though, be careful who you partner up with. Um, make sure you know this person very well and trust them. For another group of you, you are moving from the <clears throat> western, west coast. I'm seeing Washington State um, and moving down into the Texas area. Um, keep an eye on your moving stuff, the moving company you're choosing. Make sure you check credentials. Make sure you do background checks or you could possibly lose your stuff in transit. Um, make sure you do your research. And that goes for anybody, anytime, but for the, those people. Um, a group of you are finding new jobs. And if you, Spirit is saying, if you haven't heard from a job that you put an application in, um, double check your resume. There's a typo on your resume. They have been trying to reach you. 
could be with a phone number, a name, and ad I don't know. Uh, double check your resume. For um, for the group of you who have been doing healing, who have been working so hard on yourself, who have been digging down deep and um, letting those scars be dealt with. You have your twin flames coming. You have reunion in the beginning of May. Union, reunion. Um, stay grounded and continue to heal. It, healing is an everyday thing. We come into negative energy. We come into situations every day in our life that where we need cleared and regrounded and balanced. So um, once you come back into reunion with this twin flame, don't stop the healing. Don't stop the work. Um, and you guys are going to start your soul, your soul's purpose, your soul's journey together um, with starting a new business. This is going to be in the holistics. Um, and it's going to be internet based. It's going to be very successful. Make sure you get the right marketing company. Make sure you get the right people to get your name out. And if you do, success is going to be off the charts for you. Overall, Pisces, you guys are having a great month. Um, just be careful of the, that drama. Be careful of that negative energy. Um, just try to avoid it if you can. Other than that, you guys are very, um, your energy is being uplifted and risen. Be careful what you think, what you say, what you feel. You are manifesting very powerfully this month. And remember that you're being divinely guided. So uh, watch for signs because they are reassuring you that you are on the right path. But I think that's all I have for you guys, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your channel messages for April 2018. As always, I am sending you love, light, and God bless.